Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the channel and today we're just going to get straight into a mix session. We are going to be mixing the vocals for Hard Times. In a previous uh, video, which I shall leave a link in the description below, we re-recorded some of the vocal uh, track for this song and we're going to incorporate that into this session. So without further ado, we'll get straight into the lead vocals. I seem to remember that the issue with the lead vocals was a, a boxy sound, wasn't that? Hard times is getting older. You can hear the sort of a. Uh, it's as if he's singing in a box. When you still feel like a child. I'm going to suspect that that's going to be at around about. 500. The man says it doesn't matter anymore. We need to take a bit of that out. But can his soul be so dried? So this is this is really corrective EQ. She feels the world is getting I'd like to put a lot more bottom end into the, the vocal, but I think I will do that. So she confides his mind on a separate speed. EQ. Um, okay. But I think for this vocal line we want we want a bit of richness in that bottom end. So I'm not gonna take a huge amount. And with a different EQ, we will have a play, but I'll just take out the very low rumble. Okay. Um, and I think with, we'll just leave it on that. But I'm going to use this EQ, I think, to shape the sound a bit now. Mm. So, yeah, that's the frequency there at 500 that we've, the box, we've like kind of cut a bit. Yep. Now, often what happens with EQ, if you take a notch out... It's sometimes it beneficial just to boost a little anymore. bit around the lower and the higher point of that cut. This has got this sort of frequency here, 200. It's got that richness down there, so I want a bit more of that. So she confines his mind to speed. So at this point, I think I need to make a confession. Well, no, more, more an apology. Or, well, actually, it's more about a lesson learnt in the reality of music production. You see, if there was anything that would confirm that we are not a teaching channel and that we're just three old farts on a journey of making music and hope you want to continue to join us on that journey, it would be what I'm about to confide in you. As I was editing this video, I realized that I was wasting my time. As you can see, we have nearly two hours of this mixing session captured on video, which I was gonna try and edit down to a 30 minute or less YouTube video. But, well, let me play you something. Love's an overdrive commodity. Can you hear the popping? Itty. Itty. Now, that can sometimes happen as a result of using the time stretch warping tools on a vocal track. And in this case, I had used them just to tighten up the, the timing, too much as it turned out. And let me play you this bit of vocal line. Mumbling something about privacy. Can you hear the distortion? That is preamp distortion from the original recordings that were made on Oasis ADAT some 20 years ago. Over the years, I have tried to rectify the issues with this track. And each time I've tried something, I've recommitted it, that is to overwrite the track. So the track that we're trying to mix in this session has probably been re-rendered five or six times. And in all honesty, I've destroyed the original recording. So much so that I've spent most of this session chasing my tail, trying to make it sound good and failing. So, in a fit of frustration, I thought, sod it, I'm going to dig out the original vocal tracks that were transferred off the ADAT, and thankfully I had them archived, and I've imported them back into this mix session. Having done that, 
we immediately got the dynamics back, we got the depth of sound back, and we got the original timings back. And what a difference it has made. Yes, there are still some issues to resolve with the track, but over the years I've learned that less is more. I guess the apology bit is that I didn't video the new mix session, but I can show you what we did. One lesson I have learned is that you don't need to apply corrective processing to the whole track. In Pro Tools, you can use the audio suite function where you can apply corrective processing just to a small clip. So there were just a couple of lines where the preamp distortion was too present, too audible. Mumbling something about privacy. Sometimes a bit of preamp distortion can add grit to a track and it's not always unwelcome. But in this case, it is clearly uh, too much. So we have this RXD clip plugin. Now, before I used this plugin, and I used it across the whole track. And in essence, it took away too much of the top frequencies and took away some of the performance of the track. This time, I just rendered the few vocal lines that were clearly distorting. So here it is bypassed. Mumbling something about privacy. Not bypassed. Mumbling something about privacy. You can clearly hear the level of distortion has dramatically decreased. Not entirely eradicated, but certainly much better. Now, Vern is a phenomenal singer, and 95% of the performance is banging tune. However, as always with the boys, there were a few notes that were just slightly off. I take such careful steps ahead of me. Now, before I would put a Waves Tune plugin on an insert and apply it across the whole track, but that corrected too much of the part and especially affected the modulation or the vibrato of Vern's voice. Again, the lesson learnt was that I only need to apply the tuning to those few phrases thus keeping the original performance intact. So, in this example, there are just a couple of notes that are very slightly adrift. I take such careful steps ahead so, of me. the word take, I take such is slightly sharp. And the word of I take such careful steps is slightly ahead flat. Of me. I take such careful steps ahead of me I take such careful steps ahead of me I take such careful steps ahead of me there you go just two slight changes has made the line perfect this is bypassed I take such careful steps ahead of me not bypassed I take such careful steps ahead of me I hope Rick Beata wouldn't object too much using that little bit of auto-tune so, okay, now we have a clean, mainly vocal track. And as you can see, we've not done much in terms of processing. Uh, before we start to listen to this, what I'm going to do is just mute the effects. And let's listen to what we've got. She feels the world is getting smaller day by day. As you can hear, it's a lot cleaner. So she confines his mind to speak. Still got that boxiness, which we can deal with. Love's an overdrive commodity. So we've got a much better bass track to work with. So what did we do? The first thing we did was to try and find this boxiness of the track. So 
She feels the world is getting smaller day by day. If I boost this around, we found it around so 500, 600. His mind to speed. So we took that out. Love's an overdrive commodity. And I also poured she a high pass filter on, but I put it fairly low, really just to get rid of any low end rumble. She feels the world and then we is used an F6 day day. to try and shake the sound. Um, so she confines his mind so to speak. I wanted to try and just lift a little bit around the 250, get a bit more of Love's the low-end body. Drive, and as you can see, I've put a low shelf she feels the world around about 125, 130. And again, rolled off uh, a high-pass filter. So but as you can see here, we've got a bit of dynamic EQ going on. That is actually for this part of the song. Love. Where he holds uh, a note. Beyond repair. And that... Just wanted to tame that... Take such careful you know, steps just cutting through me. too much. And then... We need to put a DS on. There's lots of S and T's in this song. Um, now, as you can see with this, I've, I've actually got it set fairly high frequency just to take off the top end of the S's and the T's. So she confines his mind to speed. We'll play that without. She feels the world is getting smaller day by day. Lots of high level S. She feels the world is getting smaller day by day. Just again, just takes off the edge. So she can find And then lastly, we put on a compressor. And the LA-2A was ideal for this because we just wanted to capture those explosives but not do too much for the rest of it. She feels the world is getting Smaller so we're tickling it maybe less than 2 dB of reduction. So she confines his mind to speed. Except Loves for when it had the explosives. And it just makes it sound a lot smoother. So if we put that into context and we turn the reverbs and the delays back on, we can hear what it sounds like. She feels the world is getting smaller day by day So she confides his mind to speed Love's an overdrive commodity To plug in in times of need And there you go professional singer, a really good singer, recorded not so well at the time, but we managed to retrieve that. And then not an awful lot of processing needed to get that nice clean sound. So what's the lesson learned here? Well, I suppose it's not to be so arrogant to accept to yourself that, hey, I've screwed this up and that you can go back to the beginning and start again. I hope you've enjoyed watching the pain of my confession. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell to get notified of future videos. And thank you for watching.